Hey guys, Melissa here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. So if you want to see how I do that, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alright, so I have my box of washers here that I've been using for various tutorials on copper washer jewelry. And I still have all these left. But I was thinking, since they're flat, I wonder if I can like turn them so the flat side is facing out and then hammer them into a ring, a nice hammered ring. And what kind of sizes I can get out of them. I'm going to use this, that's the inside diameter, 14 millimeter. And we'll see what that gets us. Now I think annealing the copper would help. I'm sure not everybody has torches and that kind of setup. So I'm just going to use my pliers. It doesn't take too much. Even with my arthritis, I can still do this. So I grab it with the thicker part of my pliers down at the base. And I use my whole palm. Get a nice grip and kind of start turning it. Turn it so the flat side is facing outward like a ring. Of course it's not going to look like a ring. It's going to be all twisted up but that's where your hammering comes in. But I want to start the process with my pliers first. How do you like that? Isn't that pretty? All right, so let's grab our mandrel. A metal one preferably. I don't think plastic would work for this. Get that on there snug. I'm also going to use my steel block. A nice hefty hammer too, to pound this nice and round. Put some hammer marks in it too. Alright, so we're going to get loud here. I keep pushing it down the mandrel to support it. I'm working towards making it round again. So I turn it and I try to find the gaps. I guess I should show you. There's gaps. Gaps everywhere. also gonna at this time it's all twisty I'm gonna pound it flat that way flip it over pound it flat again see now it's nice and straight I'm going to put it on the mandrel the other way now. See now we're not getting any gaps in there anymore so it's Getting pretty round. 
So now I'm pretty much throwing some texture in there. I'm getting texture using the flat part of my hammer. But you can also use the ball part. I like to flip it over once just to make sure it's not tapered. And that's pretty much it. If you're satisfied with the texture, you're pretty much done, of course. Besides the polishing, you may need some filing, some buffing and polishing, of course. I'll throw mine in the tumbler for an hour or two and they'll get all shined up really nice. So here's some various sizes of washers I tried here. The one we just did would look like to be a size 7. This one's really teeny. This one's like a size 4. We got like a 10 and a half. Various sizes. But I'll be back to show you what the polished and tumbled. I'll show you what they look like after that process. Alright, so here we are. These guys were in the tumbler for about two hours. And that's pretty much all I did. I didn't really file them or anything. Just left them in there for a couple hours to burnish out. If you want, I'll link up above my video on how I do that. It's real easy. I can't remember which washers these were, just various sizes of washers. And I got various sizes of rings. So this one is a size about six and a half. This one here, about a ten and a half. This one here looks like an eight. This one's a four. And this one is another eight. So these guys are really quick and easy. I didn't speed up this video much at all. I did edit a little bit, but it was pretty much real time besides the two hours in the tumbler, but that's no big deal. So I'm hoping these sell really well. I'll see you at the next gem show. But that's it for me. I hope you like my idea. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week.